Hi guys, hope everybody is doing really well today. And um, today I've got some interesting um, adjustable spanners. I went over to my good friend Roger, I think for the final time, and um, because um, I've got, I've obviously, if you've watched previous videos, I've got a little bit more storage now as I got rid of the workshop. So there's always been a few things which I thought I'd like to take, but I just don't have anywhere to put them. So I went and bought a lot of bigger items really really large items which i'll show you over the next few videos i think i bought 68 things and um, so these are some of the small things which i picked up as well and um, so um a lot of these are quite dirty so i'm going to wear gloves and um, right so roger had quite a nice collection of fox brothers uh, fox brothers wrenches they were from um, 1892 and they're quite a nice 1891 the two variants um, and I do have um, a book which I've not which only came in the post yesterday and funnily enough it, it shows the, the Fox Brothers so it's called the Eclipse Wrench and these um, steel bar coach wrench steel bar coach wrench but obviously a double one and a 90 and a half and it shows you the sizes, what they made. So the Eclipse came six to 18 inch. So did the double bar and the single bar. So there's six to 18 inch and there is seven sizes in total. And I thought that was really cool. So this book I'll show in an, another video. This is a Marples and Sons um, price list 1909 edition. Um, and I thought that was really nice. So. He had in his collection, let's have a look. Where's the tape measure? He, he had uh, three designs. Now I do actually have a design, I have one myself, which I got previously, a six inch, which is the smallest they made. And then obviously there's an eight, there's a 10 and a 12. So six, eight, 10, 12. So I think that's a, a graduated set of the three sizes. And then there's two designs of the Eclipse wrench. There's this one with a hammer on the head and there's this one with a flat head and they're both the same size. Um, let's have a look at the, the size. So they are 10 inch. So we have two 10 inches, but they're not the same. They're a slightly different design. And of the double bar, we've got the eight and the 10. So we've got eight and 10 and then a graduated set. So obviously there would have been a six, a 10, 12, all the way up to 18 inch, which would be quite a big, big wrench actually. So quite pleased with those. Um, also, I, I picked, I noticed there was a Palmer wrench, um, which is an early 1860s design Palmer wrench. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that's slightly bigger than the one I've got. So I'm gonna go and check in the drawer. We've got a lovely little V-Lux French wrench v looks i've never seen this design but obviously v looks made lots of different designs so i'm going to put that in the drawer with the v looks we've got this lovely german design with quite a nice unusual design to it a nice writing on it as well which i thought was quite good so that'll go in the drawer we've got two of these quick adjust type spanners as well we've got a car cadut cardot cardot um i think it's french um and that and i've cleaned this one up um which is a lot more hassle now i don't have a workshop i've got to put the angle grinder in the garden but i've cleaned it up because it was just red rusty it's the only one i've cleaned up and waxed a little bit to make sure it it actually works and um, this is in ron's second book so this was a nice find um, and this one here as well which is an unmarked quick adjust as well so let's put these away in their respective drawers and let's take a look Right guys, so here's the quick adjust drawer. Um, we've got the new Perfect um, car dot, which I'll put here. And then we've got this unbranded one, which is a bit interesting, we'll put that there. So I do wonder if this manufacturer here is the same as this one, because they both have like an arrow on them, similar. So I'm not too sure. What do you think? Do you think them two are related? I'm not so sure. Interesting anyway. So yeah, so a couple more uh, quick adjusts for the draw. All right, let's move on to the next one. Right, so we've got the Palmer draw next. And um, we've got this one here, which I suspect it, this Palmer wrench 
is slightly bigger than the one I've got. So let's see. Yeah, so I think it's the one size up from that wrench. So I'll put that there. So yeah, so I've got three sizes now of the hammer wrench. I think it's the smallest size, six, seven, and eight. And then we've got six, eight, and 10 of that design. And then of the very early, um, with the 12 facets on the handle, just the one size, I think that's the uh, eight inch. So yeah, um, another addition for the Palmer wrench uh, collection. Right guys, so I've decided to give the, um, the Fox Brothers from 1890s, um, a nice new drawer, I'm pretty pleased. I've got plenty of space to grow and I can always give it a bigger drawer if I find some more. So we've got the four sizes, two sizes, and then the two different designs there. Hopefully over the years I can add to this collection. All right, let's move on to the next drawer. Right, let's go to the German drawer. Um, so this is where the German type of wrench is. You'll notice this is a different design to a lot of them. This is the most common design. This one has like a hollow, hollow ground in it and it has nice markings, which most of them don't have as well. So um, we'll put that with the German collection of those sort of designs. And then let's move on to the, uh, to the next drawer. Right guys, um, I finally found the V-Lux. I put them in the pipe wrench drawer. Don't know why I did that, but I did. Um, I've only got two sizes of the V-Lux and they're both the same design with this um, quick adjust mechanism and then you can obviously turn it down. So V-Lux made in France. V-Lux made, I think it says made in France, but you can't quite read it out, but I'm guessing it is. This one's very similar to a King Dick. Very, very similar indeed. I've um, never seen this design before. So this is a new one to add to the V-Lux. Um, eventually I'm gonna put this in a in a, a French drawer, but at the minute they're just in these uh, pipe wrench drawer. All right, so thanks for watching this video if you got this far. Um, hopefully you enjoyed um, the junker picked up and where it went, where it ended up. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Take care, bye.